Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, do you have either your students or your kids' artwork just piling up in boxes and bins? If you look at the table, you'll see kind of what I mean. This is examples of some artwork that my four-year-old friend Aubrey created. And you know, you want to save some of it, but you can't really save all of it. However, you can upcycle or recycle it into these cool school picture frames. Here you can see Aubrey's artwork in the background, and then the slits in the die are used to hold the photo. Let me show you the die and you'll see what I mean. Here on the die, it's got the perforations that give you the fold lines, as well as the slits that will accommodate three different sizes of photos. Now here you can see I've taken some of Quincy. She is four also, and I've taken her artwork and I've cut out hearts and I've used it to decorate the front of her photo frame and inside, you can see that not only have I added some of her decoration inside and more of her artwork, you'll see that I have a three by five photo in the largest slits. And if I take that out, you can see it also will accommodate two and a half by three and a half inch photo. And if I take that out, you can see that it also will accommodate a two by three photo. You can see how it will work for pictures that are horizontal or vertical, either way. Now that's if you want to use their artwork in a foldable paper frame, but you can also create magnet picture frames. You can take their artwork and place it onto self adhesive magnet in order to create the different kinds of magnet picture frames that you see here. Now, in order to do that, I started first with the framed eyes, and there's a, a big assortment of choices. These two at the bottom happen to be all-star or bigs dies, and there's a star frame, there's a wavy frame. This is a sure cut die, and this is picture frame number one. You can see this is more of Aubrey's artwork, but all you need to do is to take the artwork and then apply it onto the self adhesive magnet and look at the cool magnets that you get. You get the magnet, in this case, the star frame. You also get the square that came out that can be used as an additional magnet. I'll bring this down and you can see what I mean. You get this magnet piece as well with her artwork on it. Plus you get the outside negative space around the star frame, which can be used for a larger magnet. And that's true of all of them. I think maybe the easiest way is for me to just show you. Here is an example of Quincy's art. And I, so that I could show you the original art, I made a color copy, but normally I just take the actual art here is a sheet, a nine by 12 sheet of self-adhesive magnet. And I've taken and I've cut it into a strip that will accommodate the picture frame. And I've taken the photocopy of her art. You can see here, I just peeled back the protective backing to expose the adhesive and took the artwork and placed it right onto the adhesive. So I have magnet on this side and now her artwork is firmly attached to this side. Now it's time to cut it. And I thought I might show you, if you haven't seen, the portable all-star machine, it is a really easy and a quick way to be able to die cut. I'm going to take the wavy frame and I'll take her Quincy's artwork. I'm going to place, as always, the artwork against the blade side. And in this machine, I put a cutting pad on the bottom and then I place the die and then I place a cutting pad over the top. And then all I need to do is just roll it through. The machine will cut the magnet just as easily as if it were cutting paper. So look at the results. You end up with a beautiful magnet frame. You also have the inside portion that can be used for something else that's now a magnet. You have this background that can be trimmed off and created into a magnet. We go back here and look at, you know, how you can see how this works with other pattern papers. It's so cool. You know, what father wouldn't just love a photo of their kids for Father's Day? And if you add some of the children's artwork into the design, you're going to have a real winner.